Hello, Cooper and I are here to uh, break down uh, May 15th's workout, 90 Shinny. It's going to be a 21 15 9, uh, followed by a dumbbell or a double under workout. So it's going to be 21 15 9, double dumbbell, dumbbell power cleans uh, into your 50 double unders. And so you're going to do your 21 jump rope, 15 jump rope, 9 jump rope. You'll get done with that and you're going to go directly into another set of 21 15 9. Uh, with the double dumbbells if you have them again uh, for front squat though so it'll be your front squat jump rope front squat jump rope front, front squat jump rope um, if you don't have your double uh, dumbbells uh, one thing you can do is go to a single dumbbell and then your rep scheme will change with that dumbbell work of 30 20 and 10 for both of those things uh, outside of that there's a whole bunch of different ways we can scale this uh, and use different equipment uh, all those are kind of listed in the workout notes, uh, if you go into those uh, athletes notes, they'll give you a breakdown of what they are uh, and even some videos in it. So uh, with that, uh, let's go over a couple of the technique things that I want you to think about as we're going through this. And it's going to be um, timing, right? So make sure that as we're going through our power cleans and our front squats, we're staying nice and stable. We're not rushing the movements. And that goes the same thing for our double unders. They are nice and relaxed, staying and trying to keep our timing and rhythm. Koopy's gonna get upset with me. Hold on. Sorry, buddy. I know. I know. I'm sorry. All right. So with our dumbbell power cleans, we're gonna do two of them. We need only one head to hit the ground. And what I want you to think about is using your legs to get your hips and shoulders raised at the same time. And then that's when we want that extension. So smooth and slow from the ground to our knees, and then a little bit more explosive as we get the dumbbells up to our shoulders. Front squats. Keep that good tempo down and up. Try not to go so fast that you get pulled out of position. It's a nice down and stand. Drive into those dumbbells, pushing the heads up. You can even go into the knuckles uh, on your shoulders. Just understand that you have to have the mobility for that. And it kind of limits you on how fast you can get in and out of those dumbbells. So think about that because what I would suggest is short little bursts breaking these up so that you don't have to take more than like a 10 second rest if you have to put them down. So think about that and how you're holding them and what lets you kind of get in and out of those as quick as you can. Um, let's see, if you're going to do the front squats, uh, just a little side note, if you're going to do those front squats and you're going to do jumping squats, like if you don't have any equipment, uh, this might be a fun little one and get spicy. It would be uh, doubling the rep scheme, so it would be 42, 30, 18. And that might get a little little uh, spicy um, as well as for your double unders if you uh, I just like to point out the ones that I hate right now uh, is those dumbbell hop overs so we did these a couple of days ago right that'd be one I don't know why but those were jacking with me so if they messed with you maybe you want to throw them into a workout and see uh, that lateral movement for yourself that's about it for your 90 shinny um, Cooper and I are gonna go figure out what we want to eat yeah um, what I want you guys to do is figure out what you want to eat. Go and find out who you want to support uh, as far as uh, local restaurants. That's the challenge for this week. It's a pretty pretty fun challenge, right? So figure out something good to eat and then uh, throw it on Sugar Water or Instagram or let Lo know and uh, we'll like, you know, like we want to give props to all those good places. Alrighty guys.